Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the camera features that are built in on your MacBook's webcam. So let's get right into it. Let's start by talking about center stage. So on more recent MacBooks, like the 2024 MacBook Pros and the 2025 MacBook Airs, we have gotten a new ultra wide camera. And so with this ultra wide camera, it allows them to pan out and zoom in on the camera frame. So this leads to cool things like this. So for instance, if I start moving, the camera will follow me. If I move to the left, the camera continues to follow me. This is also great if you have a lot of people on a FaceTime call, like within your room. So let's say a family, the camera will automatically pan out so that it can fit everybody in the frame without you having to move your laptop. It's very useful. But if you do not like this feature, just click the FaceTime button in the top menu bar and then disable it by clicking this button right here. Let's talk about camera effects. So we've gotten a lot more camera effects in the recent years with new updates. And so let's start by talking about um, portrait mode. So if you click portrait mode, you notice that my background blurs. And so if I click this drop down arrow, you can actually adjust how much blur that you have. So if I want less blur, I can move the slider down. Or if I want more blur, I just increase the slider. And it's nice if you just don't want people focusing on your background and you want them to focus on you. Very nice. Um, we also have studio light. So I can disable or enable studio light. It kind of lightens up your face and darkens your back background a bit. And this is also adjustable. So you can use this slider to adjust how much brighter and darker your background is. So that's another option you have. So we also have this thing called reactions. So reactions can either be triggered manually or you can um, do hand gestures. So if you want to trigger them manually, you click this drop down arrow and you can see all the effects we have. So if I want to show oh, it's raining, look, you can have a cool rain effect or you're celebrating something, you can have confetti. Um, it's pretty nice. You can use these, all these effects you can use across um, many applications that use the camera, including Discord, WebEx, Zoom, apps like that. I use them, it works perfectly fine. Um, if you want to do it via a hand gesture, I don't have them all memorized, but I do know like if I give a thumbs up, you should, yep, there you go. You get a thumbs up, thumbs down. Pretty cool. If I do two thumbs down, it should rain. It should rain. Oh, yep, there we go. So those are pretty fun to mess with. Um, additionally, we also now have backgrounds. So this was added in macOS Sequoia. So if I click the backgrounds, look at that. I'm in Apple Park right now. Awesome. You can also add your own custom photos as well. And there's a lot of presets that Apple has to offer. So here's some presets. And you also have some plain solid colors. So here's black. There's white. There's a nice orange. Uh, here's some of the more uh, Apple Park backgrounds. They're pretty nice. And the um, image segmentation works pretty well. So it does a pretty good job of only taking the background out, as you can see. So let's talk about desk view. So you may wonder why the laptop has been pushed farther back. You're going to see why. So for desk view, you're going to need some space to um, show what's on your desk. And to initiate it, we're going to head over to the green button in the menu bar. And then we're going to click desk view. And all right, you can now see this different view now. So you can see a little square here, which outlines where on your desk the camera is looking for. And what's nice is we can adjust this using the slider on how wide it's going to be. So you may need to like adjust your lid. I've already have mine adjusted here. But um, once you have it lined up, click start desk view. And look at that. You can actually see what's on my desk and it automatically flips the orientation so that you can see it the way you're seeing it. And this is good if you're going to demo something to someone and maybe you're showing notes or you're trying to um, help someone through a math problem. You know, this is going to be great. So it's a little distorted, but it also depends on your lighting and again, how much you show. So the more you zoom in or out, but it works pretty well. I think it's pretty cool. And if you want to show this to the other person on FaceTime, you're just going to have to share this window and then they'll be able to see you and they'll be able to see what's on your desk. And that's all the features your MacBook camera offers. I did want to keep note that for center stage, you will need either a SU display connected to a desktop Mac, a 2024 MacBook Pro, any of them, no matter what size or model, and the 2025 MacBook Airs. And then for desk view, you will need either a 2024 MacBook Pro, a 2025 MacBook Air, or if you're using continuity camera, it also works that way as well. And then for all the other software camera features, you just need to be up to date with your Mac because some of the features came out in Ventura, some in Sonoma, and some in Sequoia. So it's just better to update your Mac and you'll get all those features right away. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.